So welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I'm an idiot. And we're about to go on bug patches right now. So here's what you're supposed to do. And this only happens if you come to the uh, old Firekeeper Tower here early. What you're supposed to do is walk up here. Get the item. You're supposed to do this pretty much right around the time you defeat the Crystal Sage. Before defeating the Crystal Sage, it for some reason bugs out. You have to come back up here again to activate it after defeating the Crystal Sage. I did it right. There's patches. Fixed. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Uh, his intro is so much better in the Cathedral of the Deep. Oh, well. Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> so yeah, he traps you in here, and the only way out is to do parkour. Which, thankfully, isn't too hard. It's actually fairly simple. Minimal damage and you're out. Not really difficult. Alright, so now that we've uh, done that, we should be able to just go around and enter and be able to use patches as you normally would be. Uh, my frame rate really drops outside, I really don't know why. Like, only really this area. And that's fine inside as long as I don't look outside and patches is over there. I bet you it's some weird loading triggers causing it. Ah! Oh, you're alive! Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I've come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. You, you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Uh, may as well forgive him. I think... I don't know... The option to not forgive him changes anything, but I'd rather not risk anything happening, so... Oh, fantastic. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> so I need to make some souls here so I can buy some stuff off him, so... Real good trick for making souls is selling souls. Because it shows you the exact value. So I'll sell one of these. And then I'll sell another one. That should be enough for what I want to buy. Here it is. Sigurd's armor. He also sells some other stuff. Nothing really amazing. But you know the parrying dagger and the shovels there as well as the winged spear. A few things that might be useful that I'll probably never use. Ah, I see you've made Kreerak. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> Thanks, good compere. Alright. Turning around in this place really kills the frames for no reason. Hey, that real message is still there. I'm not gonna be able to reach that. What's wrong with you? Whoops. Now invade and come on. <laughs> Should probably not land on people's heads. <laughs> That's a problem. Alright. So now I've talked to him, I'm pretty sure I'd safe to send Grey Rat out to pillage. Oh, there you are. And we'll finish your quest line. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. 
my sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Uh, sure. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I can't tell if for some reason she's just crying out or my headphones are crying out. But like, there's weird lines that are being skipped. And I think it might be my headphones because I accidentally dropped my laptop and... Thankfully it didn't break, but it landed right on the headphone port where all my headphones are plugged in and bent the shit out of it. So it might just be my headphones. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. Discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Send them out. Oh, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> So if you send them out to the Boreal Valley without meeting Patches or without rescuing Sigurd, he basically dies out there. But since I've met Patches, Patches should rescue him. And if I've rescued Sigurd, then Sigurd should rescue him, but I haven't rescued Sigurd yet, which I am about to do right now. So I'll rescue Sigurd. Then we'll go out to the Boreal Valley and talk to him there, in the spot we could have talked to him. And then I'll do Irithyll Dungeon. This should take about two hours-ish. The usual recording session. I think all of my recording sessions have been pretty much two hours so far. Except for the one that was like an hour 45, but... You know, two hours is a good length for recording. I don't like going past two hours because then I really start writing out things to say and I just say nothing for long periods of time. Quite a baby. Okay, for armor. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I am Siegfried of Katarina. Salute you. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet again, comrade. <laughs> and rejoice. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet again, my good friend. <laughs> All right, Sigurd has now been officially saved. So I should be safe to travel to Irithyll and meet him there. Not that meeting him there is required. But it's a good thing to do. So we'll go back to the distant manor, talk to Sigurd there. Then we'll go back to Pyro Lake, speak to Grey Rat, and then we'll continue on. I think that makes the most sense. All right. Loading screen's a little bit longer than I remember. Oh. Or should I go back to the fire link? Yeah, I probably should. I shouldn't get invaded out here. Then again, you never know when some asshole's going to use a red eye orb. What happens? It happened last time. Top roach. Likely these things are complete pushovers. 
And they have really long wind-ups, so you can literally just hit through them. It's kind of a joke, really. You don't even need the block. I did get those, so we're safe to go up here, and there he is. Seaward. Off. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. Their spell, I believe. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. And another sea brown. Your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Hooray. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> And you get some Esther soup. Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I've a grave promise to keep. Guess we're gonna get the good Yorm fight. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm probably going to need to really clear out my inventory before I fight him. For reasons. It's part of the gimmick. <sighs> if you missed a sleep jester before, there's where you can get it again. Drink some soup. And do we walk back or do we homeward bone out? I think I'll just homeward bone back to the shrine. See if Grey Rat came back. Should I see or should I talk to Patches first? Perhaps I'll talk to Patches first. It's a squat. Oh, yes, yes. What can I do? Aren't you glad we made good of things? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So I guess he has nothing new to say. Which means Grey Rat's probably still alive. Can you he was... hear me? If you can, cease this at once. I really need to stop dropping on his head. Too late. Not even trying to drop on his head, I just am. Because I'm not used to him being in the shrine. Usually, once you offer something to Rosaria's fingers, he just teleports there. So I really need to stop doing that. Eh, Grey Rat's not back yet. That's fine. Since I have talked to Seaward, he should be alright. Unless I fucked that up by not rescuing Seaward first. Oh well. Twenty bucks says I fucked it up somehow. Not that really matters, but okay.
So down here we go. World shittiest trap because that. Kill you, bro. Powerful. So I'm gonna get invaded when I go out here. Because there is definitely an NPC region in the area. Fort at you. Pretty good. And there should be one guy over here. And there's our right. Got him. All right. Time to get invaded and hopefully not die. So I'm pretty sure the best place to fight this invader is like right here. This guy's whole deal is he's got a crossbow. And he's really bad at his job. And I'm really bad at my job, but I killed him anyway. I'm really surprised that uh, strong attack didn't hit him. And that was all for a Murakuma, which is a weapon I'll probably never use. And now we're in the Earthful Dungeon. So I remember where the frail point is for Grey Rat's quest, it might be here. Just in case it is here, I'm gonna teleport back to Fire Lake Shrine and see if I fucked it up. Alright. There yet, Grey Rat? Nope. Oh, that's bad news. My frame rate really needs to stop dying whenever I like look in this general direction. It's really bad. Yes, aren't you glad we made good of it? Wait, just... <laughs> uh, you're not saying anything. <laughs> Can't find it, are you? Uh, whatever. Okay, this time I swear I won't jump on his head. Maybe. All right. So here's the dungeon we go, and I'll probably find Grey Rat dead here because I think I may have fucked up his quest line somehow. Who knows? Oh well. We will see. So the gimmick of this area is this. Squealing corpses whenever you take items off them. That wake up enemies. That's the gimmick. Not all of them do it, but the ones that do are certainly annoying. Also, the air gimmick of this area is really strong enemies. You have to be very careful not to get comboed, but they are very terrifying. These jailers can ruin you. Now I am a super trap. I just all charges out of here and tackles you all. If you go for it. 
There's no reason to be in there, I just killed them. So yeah, the these guys is they go red. When they go red, they can like literally sap your life bar, and I'm not quite sure how it works exactly. Yeah, if you get hit by that, you need to roll. If you get hit by that attack, it does a lot. Because if you will notice, that is basically the brand of the undead. Or something. These jailers are really good at their job. They're, they're doing a good job of making sure that Dark Souls 1 doesn't happen. Not gonna be any escaping undead this time. So we'll see a good example of how good at their job they are over here. And there's a reason I'm coming this way first. It's to try and unlock the shortcut as fast as possible. Oh, this probably gonna go down real fast. Yeah, I see it went down a single pick there. Which could have been a lot worse than single tech. It should come back any second now. Okay, there it is. So I hear a terrible sound. It's coming from wherever the fuck this thing is. I believe these are like part dragon, part human. There's some kind of abomination that's clearly being imprisoned over here because someone did some crazy shit. The reason you can hear more of them is because there's a lot of these downstairs. But I've opened a shortcut, so that'll help flare. There is no invisible wall there. I will tell you that right now. Fucking dog. And the Jailbreaker's key. The main reason I came here first. So now we'll drop down and do the hard part. This, this dungeon is pretty shit. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk here and do this. It's a bigger risk than you think it is because there is... a lot of these guys. If they hit you, they can get more of my health. That's the danger of these guys. They can like literally damage you just by looking at you. And then not only is your health reduced, but you don't get back. I forgot about you. I honestly did. And a simple gem for that. So my health is back now. Like that, you see how fucking dumb that is? It's quite biggest danger of this area. That's locked, I'll tell you that right now. Or it doesn't open from that side. Because that's the other part of the shortcut. I'm going to want to open. There's a crystal lizard in here, but I guess I scared him away. I'll have to get him later then. Oh well. Tailbone spear and some resin of some sort. And I'd go through there, but I don't really want to right now. Instead, I'll open this and deal with this guy. It was completely optional. But I'll deal with him anyway. So the real trap of this area is opening cells that don't need to be opened. And then dealing with the repercussions later when you're when you do inevitably die. Thankfully I'm pretty good at not dying in this area. Ideally, if when I do this area, I won't die at all. Ideally, I'll survive on 10 flasks. It's really tough to do, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and do this entire prison area, plus part of the profane capital on these 10 flasks, because I don't want to have to rest that bonfire and deal with anything. That's Honestly, the best way to go about this entire area. It's pretty shit, but trust me when I say it's the best way to do it. So that's what Jailbreaker's Key's for. We'll go out there later. And now there's more shit down here. And it's basically a copy of the room from before. 
up to these jailers this time. My power just went out. That's cool. Thankfully, I'm on battery power, so... Suck it. Oh shit, that means my frame rate's gonna be shit. Oh, bad. That's bad. Why did the power go out? What the fuck are they doing? Yep, there goes my Steam connection. 